Gordon Fox charged. New details on the story we first told you as it was breaking on Eyewitness News at noon. The former House Speaker has had his license to practice law stripped. The state Supreme Court took the action today. Fox voluntarily agreed to the disciplinary action according to court documents. Target 12 investigator Tim White broke the story when Fox was charged. He's here now with the latest developments. Today's actions surely come as no surprise to Gordon Fox. In fact, when he pleaded guilty to public corruption charges in federal court last month, he choked up when a judge told him he would likely lose his license to practice law. Former House Speaker Gordon Fox became a practicing attorney in October 1991. More than 23 years later, his legal career has come to an end, Thanks. at least for now. According to a Supreme Court order filed Thursday, Fox informed the disciplinary board that oversees lawyers he was aware an investigation was ongoing in the wake of his public corruption case. The order states Fox freely and voluntarily consents to disbarment and that he is fully aware of the implications of submitting his consent. Fox, whose law office was here on Doran Street in Providence, can attempt to get his law license back. By court rule, he can petition the state Supreme Court to get reinstated five years from when his license was taken away. On March 2nd, Fox pleaded guilty to charges that he used campaign finance money for personal gain and accepted a $52,000 bribe to approve a liquor license when he was on the Providence Board of Licenses. If the plea deal with prosecutors is accepted by the judge, Fox will be sentenced on June 11th. In theory, Fox could run again for office if he wanted to. State law allows anyone convicted of a crime to re-enter politics three years after the completion of their sentence, but that includes both prison and probation time. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.